in Old Bridge, iPads are giving voice to several Down syndrome children simply by pressing a symbol to make a statement. But for a mother to see her son say, I love you? I was hysterical. I, the words of emotion, I can't even express to you. How old are you? I am nine years old. Teacher Heather Hands is a believer in the power of tablets. I'm learning what he has learned. I like to eat SpaghettiOs. She eats SpaghettiOs. 40 miles north in Paramus, the private epic school for autistic children has quickly become a believer in iPads. Spell face. In this session, 15-year-old Jordan is learning how to spell. I have a spot on my shirt. Downstairs, other children learn to express themselves. It's more interactive, so it's more fun. The challenge at Epic and elsewhere, finding apps that work best. There are thousands and thousands of apps out there that claim to be useful for people with autism. Back in Old Bridge, there is hope not just for special needs students, but their parents as well. Endless possibilities. I don't think that it is fair to say that anyone has a cap on what they can learn. I'm done. But iPads have a bigger future here. We can uncover the voice or hidden talents that every child has. Old Bridge has been so encouraged by the use of iPads in this and a handful of other classrooms that it is going system-wide. Next year, every middle schooler will have their own iPad, and by 2014, high schoolers can either bring their own device or use a school-supplied tablet. In Old Bridge, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York. Amazing work going on there. For more information on Education Nation, go to NBCNewYork.com. Also, Nightly News with Brian Williams will have much more coming up at 6.30 tonight, including one-on-one -on -one interviews on the state of education with President Obama and Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney.